Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another first look. Starship Theory, a game totally up my alley and depending on your feedback I can totally imagine making a series out of that. However, for today I just want to explain you what the game is about in order to get a feel whether or not this game might be something for you. So without any further ado, let's just dive right into the game. I'm gonna create a new game and we will be assigned four random crew members. They come with various stats such as agility for movement speed, endurance for health, then we have the engineering for building and repairing things, we have intelligence for food production, research and other non-combat operations and then finally we have the military skill, the combat. So you get the basic gist, let's see if we can get something really good here. Okay, that doesn't look too shabby, we have an intelligent guy, we have two good engineers and then we have a military guy, why the heck not? Let's just start up the game. Alright, and here we are within our little escape pod. The first thing we want to do is hit the space bar in order to pause the game. Our goal is to expand and improve this ship by adding blocks onto it, adding modules onto it, we will be encountering asteroid fields, enemies, trading ships, I think even space stations. It's actually kind of crazy what is all included in this game already, despite the fact that it's a very early alpha. So the first thing I want to do is I want to click all of these buttons in order to be able to explain you the different things. First things first, we got our escape pod, so maybe we can actually rename that, there we go. I'm gonna call this Nathan's Crappy Day. Now the first window right here is all about your ship. You have your armor stats, etc. You have the heat level. We also have accuracy, we have sensors and ship evades. So most of these are self-explanatory, especially with the tool tip. We also have a section right here for special commands. So we can go into red alert. In order to focus on repairs, we can go to black alert. This will make them abandon the ship and blue alert is gonna make them go back to the ship. Next up we have our storage window. We have several resources right here. The building resources are metal, silicon and gold. We're gonna require this to add certain modules. We also have resources to sustain our crew members with food and water, so just the basics. And we also have a little bit of credits to purchase stuff. Next up we have our ship cargo, which at the moment is empty. I believe this corresponds with the cargo hatch in some way. Then we have a power available, at the moment we're using 8 of 15 power units. And finally we have the CPU, which is going to be required for certain modules to function. The roles window is in order to set up general roles. So if you, for instance, say I want to have 4 engineers, then it's just going to randomly assign these engineers depending on your crew. I want to have 4 engineers in the beginning because there's nothing else to do at the moment and I want to start building as quickly as possible. The notification window, self-explanatory, is gonna notify you whenever something interesting happens. The research window, I actually didn't get to test this just yet. This actually comes in a little bit later once you build research stations, etc. Next up, we have our tasks window right here. Every command that you initiated or has been initiated by the game will be listed here and you can prioritize them, change the order and other things. On the top right here, I have set my planning window. This is essentially your building menu. We have various categories. Most of the stuff is still locked, but if we scroll through this, you can see how many things are actually already in the game, including decorative things, though furniture is not only decorative, they actually do prefer, for instance, eating at a table or sleeping in a bed. Of course, uh, that is no option with our escape pod at the moment. We also have a weapons section and we have defenses. We have a prioritize section and last but not least we can remove stuff. At the bottom right here I have set up my components window so you can see we have three components installed at the moment. We have for instance our CPU panel right there, we have a solar panel and this is the airlock. All of these guys require a certain amount of power to function so if we click on this we will realize the solar panel is using 5 CPU in order to function, but it is outputting 15 power. At the moment we're using 8 power with the small engine and the CPU panel. So if you ever lack power, you can go to this menu and maybe disable certain systems you don't require at the moment. Now with all that out of the way, let's actually go ahead and with our four engineers, we're gonna expand the ship. The first thing I want to do is go into the engineering section and I want to create a couple of hulls. 
Now the building is quite interesting in the way it works. You are building halls all the way and then you kind of poke out the halls that are not directly exposed to space. You can also hit the middle mouse button in order to get one of these sections in. You can use the middle mouse button in general to rotate stuff. And also I can pan around and the Z button is actually going to bring me back into the center. Everything is actually hotkeyed. If we have a look into the controls, you can see there are a lot of things you can do just using your keyboard. Now, as I initiated these commands, you can see the tasks window has populated itself with all of these orders. Now, we will be using up our precious metal, silicon and gold right here. Therefore, we need to be able to get some more of that stuff. The best way to do that is, of course, by mining asteroids. In the utility section right here, we have a mining laser. I'm gonna plot that bad boy right down here. We should have the materials for that. However, at the moment, we do not have any heat sinks. Using the mining laser is gonna heat the ship up. And if I overheat right here, then things are gonna start to burn and get damaged. So it's very important that we get at least one heat vent in there. So small heat vent it is gonna be. I'm gonna place this bad boy right here. Now let's unpause the game and just see this happen. They're gonna take their little spacesuits, go out of the airlock and start building that stuff. Right here we can see there is an asteroid field directly ahead of us. So maybe we should make sure that the mining laser and the heat vent are going to be built. So I'm going to prioritize these bad boys. So as soon as these guys are done, the next two things that are going to be taken care of should be these two modules. Good. Let's speed things up a little bit and wait for this to happen. Ah, there we go. So the mining laser is already in there. We also have the heat sink and you can see I did have enough power in order to do that. However, I cannot toggle on the mining laser at the moment. What we need to have is an additional solar panel. So let's have a look into the engineering section, small solar panel, and I want to plot this down right there. Also, I want to prioritize it. There we go. The solar panel has been built. It's actually behind the guy. We are done with most of the orders. What we could do is poke out a floor floor right here. As you can see, since this is also rounded with a hall, I can actually expose this and use the space to build other things. Come on guys, finish the freaking hall. There we go. We can poke out two more things and I will have to remove the solar panel eventually. But for now, I think we should be good like this. So we have our heat sink. We have another solar panel in there. That means I can enable my mining laser and we still have 10 power units to utilize. However, uh, oh man, we're already running into the asteroid field here. So asteroids that go directly on top of you can actually damage you. So you will have to prioritize those. However, this guy is really big. I kind of doubt that we will be able to take it apart before our mining laser heats up too much. So I think instead of going for this guy, I will have to go for one of the little guys and just take the risk. Now, to make things a little bit easier on myself, I'm gonna click this bad boy and hit control one and it's gonna be assigned to my number one button. So now whenever I hit the number one button, it's gonna be selected and I can point my mouse on top of one of those asteroids and hopefully we will be getting something good. So the rocks essentially explode into smaller pieces. Right now we were unlucky. Gray is actually nothing. You shouldn't waste your time mining that except it's directly trying to damage your ship or something like that. Ah, there we go. So this rock exploded into metal and also a little bit of silicon. We might get into troubles here. Also, my system is overloading. So if I scroll a little bit closer, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a health bar right here for this mining laser. Because we're heating up more than our heat sink can absorb, we need to be careful not to let this health bar drain all the way. Since things are happening, I want to make sure that we have one guy always present in the ship to take care of fires. I also want to make sure that the right guys are assigned to the job. For instance, yeah, let's just remove everyone and then we can go specifically to the people. Adam, for instance, I want to be the engineer. So we're going to right click this bad boy and tell him to be an engineer. Same thing with Matthew. So you're going to be an engineer too. And now you can see the roles have been assigned. So you can do it very specifically. The other two guys are just going to be general guys doing general stuff. Good. Now let's make sure we actually mine some of that stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, no. This rock gets in the way. Ah, come on. There we go. Now I want to make sure that I wait a little bit until one of my repairing guys is ready to take care of that. You can already see fires have broken out. You really want to make sure that you don't overheat. So right now we might be able to poke a little bit on this guy. I want to observe my heat. Yeah. 
Okay, let's uh, wait a little bit. I want this. Yes, okay. So, uh, let's get rid of that. It's too dangerous. There we go. One of my guys is starting to repair the mining laser, so we should be good. Now, let's have a look at our resources. Can we do something about it? A second heatsink would actually allow us to mine all the time. Could be worth it to speed things up. On the other side, we also need to take care of hunger and thirst. At the moment, they do not really need it, but I want to make sure that I have enough materials. So let's see what these things will cost. A small heat vent is going to cost us 10 minerals and two silicon. Yeah, that is a possibility. I think we can do it. We can then do also a food dispenser and a water cooler. However, the heat vent is going to require 5 power and then food dispenser 2 power and water cooler 2 power. So we even have enough power, but the food dispenser also requires 2 CPU, which we do not have, and also heat vent. Yeah, heat vent is even going to require 5 CPU. So let's see, engineering CPU panel is going to cost us 3 power. Oh man. It's not good. We cannot have a second heat vent just yet. It's gonna mess up everything in terms of a domino effect of having to purchase more modules. So I guess the most important things are gonna be the food dispenser and water cooler. So I'm gonna place one guy right there and the water cooler next to it. Beautiful. Great, okay, the mining laser is being repaired, I think. That means I'm gonna use it once again. We need to get as many minerals as possible. That was one silicon. Let's see, we're still not overheated though. I need to be careful. As soon as I'm at 5 of 5, I want to wait. There we go, and we can start mining again. And this way we are making sure we are not damaging the freaking laser too much. Okay, what is gonna be the next thing to take care of? This rock here. Oh jeez, this rock is in the way. Don't hurt us! Oh, look at that! That is a really good one. Three minerals, beautiful. So maybe now we can do it. Small heat vent for 10 minerals. I'm gonna require the CPU panel and then also another solar panel. Let's maybe start with the solar panel. Ah, I need a hole. I want to make this even, so there's gonna be a hole. And of course we want to keep on mining as much as possible. Wait for cooldown. Oh jeez, there are two asteroids totally on collision course. Oh please, please leave us alone. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're done with the hole. Let's start with the solar panel. Oh, please don't damage anything. Oh my gosh, we're so lucky. We're freaking lucky bastards. Okay, do we have the materials for the solar panel? Why is nobody going for it? <gasps> Ship detected on long range scanners. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Adam, are you trapped in here? Hmm, let's go ahead and build a solar panel here so that we can deconstruct this one. And of course we want to keep on mining, very important. And oh my gosh, does this really have to happen? We need a weapon, jeez. Okay, solar panel is done, that means we're gonna remove this guy. Yes, come on, remove it. Oh, yes. Oh, please don't hurt us. I want to do a floor right there so this guy isn't trapped anymore. Ah, he's even going for it. Okay, let's do the mining thing again. Ah, come on. Ah, nice, okay. Stuff is gonna uh, start catching fire now, that's fine. No, no, we're good, we're good. Ah, okay, there's another ship. It is actually a trade ship, so that is good, and holy budgies. <laughs> These asteroids. Anyways, uh, the trading ship pops up a window right there. We can sell silicon for a couple of credits, or we can buy gold. Huh, we do not need that. We would need silicon. I would have bought silicon. Also food and water. We, we do not really need anything from these guys. Oh man, oh man. Ah, oh, no, it's gonna destroy something. Oh, let's try to kill at least this asteroid. Ah, okay, so it exploded in our face. Uh, at least we're getting some minerals for it and it destroyed just the hull a little bit. You can see they destroy one piece and if you're unlucky, it's one of your modules. That was actually ice and holy cow, I almost exploded my mining laser there. You see the health bar is almost down. If you do that, it's gone. There's also fire that has broken out. It's kind of going crazy at the moment. So what could we do? We need a CPU. Let's see, how much is that? CPU panel 5, 2 and we have the power for it. So CPU panel could go. Yeah, let's just place it there. I think I will expand the ship uh, towards the bottom here. So this is kind of the cockpit, the front. I don't know yet. Maybe we're gonna go into every direction. We will see. It doesn't matter for this video. It's just the first look after all. Good, 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 good. Uh, food dispenser. We do not have the CPU power for that. But very soon, as soon as this guy is gonna craft it. Oh no, no, not again. Uh, well, maybe we can at least do that one. 
you know, make sure this one is not gonna kill us horribly. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Get get wrecked. Okay, nice, nice. Ah, uh, system's overheating once again, but I really want that stuff. Okay, plans actually add up at the moment. What I need to make sure now is we have another heat vent. 10 and 2. We can afford it. Do we have the power? Yes, we have the C. Hey, we have everything, guys. So heatsink it is. There we go. We got this, guys. So the ship is leaving again, the trading ship. Thank you very much for doing business with us. We have enough stuff to do some engineering. I want to add another hole here just to make sure we're making some progress. So something along these lines. Great. We almost have the second heatsink, so that is going to be so much of a difference. Now, if we check on the uh, top left corner, we can see that I can absorb the heat of the mining laser. No problem. No problem at all. So I can also go for the bigger rocks now and look at that. It's totally worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, need, I really needed that. Also, give me some gold. Uh, it's going to get out of range soon, but maybe we can do it. Ah, beautiful. Oh, it was almost overheating there, actually. We can still overheat stuff, but, you know, it's, it's harder. So the next thing I would want is what? We're actually outside of the asteroid field, so there's no more resource collection for a while. But we can use some of our stuff to expand. Let's see, I would like to add the airlock on the other side here. Also, I would like a weapon, actually. Maybe this is the time to get a laser turret. Oh, 20 metal and 10 silicon. That's not a thing we can afford right now. Let's go ahead and do the airlock instead. We're going to add one here. And as soon as it's there, I'm going to remove this one. So we can expand into this direction as well. Though it's not being built. Airlock requires five and five. Yeah, we're missing three silicon. What a bummer. So let's speed things up a little bit. And we're just going to wait for what happens. Actually, food dispenser. We need to make sure this thing is running. Yeah, we have the power and everything. We can run everything. Asteroid field detected ahead, so that's good. I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be lucrative with our new setup. There we go. It is starting, however, this is too far away. But a few are coming along, so let's see how much resources we can acquire. If nothing goes wrong, I should be able to do a constant mining beam, which of course is going to be great. I want to make sure that I don't waste any time so we can get as many rocks as possible. I don't want to go for the gray stuff, for instance. Except it's getting in the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, good. Taking care of this guy. You're not gonna hurt me. Ah, oh, I have a good feeling about this one. Come on, show me what you got. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Ooh, come on, explode already. We also want some of you. Oh, don't damage me. Thank you. Ah, this is great. The second heatsink makes so much of a difference. Just being able to go ahead and mine endlessly. Star detected ahead. That's not good. Stars can burn up your ship like crazy. And a ship is tagging along. They do look friendly. Oh, yes. They even have something to sell. We can buy crew. I don't need the crew. We can buy metal. Mm, 200 credits. We have 400. We can sell some gold. I don't want to do that. We can buy water. I don't want to do that either. And sell food. Of course not. So should we buy the metal? I feel like we should because it's uh, cheap. It's just 10 credits per unit. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to purchase the metal. Beautiful. And oh, holy cow. We need to take care of this guy. Oh, I don't think I can break it in time. Ah, For this, the weapon would have been cool. Weapons, laser turret. I need more silicon. Come on, uh, explode! No! No! Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I just made things worse. Mmm. Yeah, we lost a CPU panel. Oh, that's horrible. So one of our heat vents is not working anymore. Ah, you see, that? that's so crazy. I hate that. Uh, CPU panel, how much are you? Five and two. Okay, I can afford replacing you, but we need to wait for the repairs. Oh, no, no, my, my water thing is on fire. Take care of that. There we go, it's repaired. I'm gonna replace the CPU. And holy cow, the star is coming. Jeez, oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Oh, I don't want to overheat at this point. Yeah, we're gonna overheat because of the freaking star. The CPU is in place again. That means we can enable everything and hopefully get away with it. Yes, yes, we are fighting the star's heat. And of course, this guy is gonna break us into pieces again. 
Look at them. They're also burning up. <laughs> oh no, man. That's so bad. It's so bad. I wish they wouldn't destroy modules in one hit. Just like with the hall. You get two chances. Oh no. What's happening? Water cooler is too damaged or what? The star. We, I think we survived it actually. Holy budgies. That's not good. But maybe we are getting the silicon from this rock that we need for the weapon. And after we have the weapon, things like that are gonna happen less frequently. Oh, 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 okay. I'm just taking that. Please, I shot this rock for such a long time. Yes. Okay, that's not silicon. And it's in the way. Okay, this guy I can definitely take out. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. Laser. Just, just, just a little bit more. No. Yes. Okay. Just freaking metal. Oh, man. Well, I guess it's better than nothing, right? Uh, can we actually sell metal? <gasps> Buy silicon. Yes. Buy silicon. Oh, amazing. That was the best thing ever. Why didn't I see that before? That means now we can go ahead and add a couple of laser turrets or actually just one. How do I want to do this? Hmm, maybe, um, if we expand the shi- oh jeez, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a hull piece here, and that's where we're gonna add it. Come on, boy, yes, that is a lot of water, I think, that's just ice. So maybe we can sell some water eventually. Now that we have this airlock, I want to remove this one and hopefully get the materials back. Look at Adam just sleeping on the floor while stuff is burning up. Anyways, we go to weapon, laser turrets, and place this bad boy here. We should be able to afford it still. 2010 to... No, we only have 9 silicon. But we can change that, hopefully. No, the asteroid field is over! Such a bummer. Maybe we get some silicon from the airlock here. Let's observe this. Just go above 10, please. Yes, 14. Great. So that means they can actually start to build this, right? Yes. Great, and we should have enough power, etc., in order to sustain this. And that means we're gonna be very much better the next time we come across an asteroid field. So, I guess, laser turret, yeah, it's already activated, and we are still not maxed out. This is great. I'm gonna select this, control 2. Great, so, let's see what happens. We're gonna do one more asteroid field, and then I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Actually, while we're on it and not doing anything else, I want to add more stuff. So I'm going to add one thing here. And then I want to start expanding this shebang here. So we're going to do this and that. Yeah, looks reasonable. Maybe we're actually going to do that. So it's the same thing. Uh, let's see. Do we have enough food, etc.? Seven food. We need to purchase food as soon as possible. So that is going to be a priority. However, we only have 57 credits. I think they let their hunger bar drain all the way to almost zero before they pick some food. But there we go, the asteroid field has started. Yeah, looking at the fact that you come across these asteroid fields very often, we might want to build a narrow but long ship. There we go. Now I can actually select number two and kind of shoot into this direction. And with number one, I mine, for instance, this guy. So I can do two things at the same time and hopefully help getting this thing broke a little bit quicker. Ah, beautiful. Oh, oh, I want to make sure we shoot this guy and laser you uh, go right there. Oh, oh, we're overheating. That's not good. Number two, I don't want you to shoot anymore. How can I disable you? Stop targeting. And we're gonna take the laser. Oh, no, 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 no. Laser is getting damaged. Well, we have... Ah. <laughs> oh, man. I overused that. I, of course, need more heat sinks now that I'm using the gun as well. So I think what we want to do... Laser turret is gonna be disabled. Yes. We need another solar panel because I messed up. It's gonna go here. What you gonna do? Hmm, but it feels already much better than in the beginning, still, I have to say. I'm just missing a steady supply of the silicon. Come on, this guy must have some silicon in it. Come on! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now, let's see if we can alternate between these bad boys. I can activate this and this one. Now, I'm not gonna use the mining laser, but only the gun, the laser. There we go, and this shouldn't overheat... Oh, mining laser here, actually. Ah, nice. Okay, and now uh, stop targeting. Okay, I can just use X. That's good. Okay, I just have to alternate between the two and then it's working out much better. Oh, come on. No. Oh, no. This is so mean. Look at that. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. One more. Yes. And use the mining laser to finish the job. I think that is a, a viable strategy, more or less. Give me something good, please. No, nothing. 
Everything is out of range and we have a star detected ahead, which is not good either. But yeah, I think by now you got the basic gist of this game. We're of course gonna expand this floor a little bit and I think with that out of the way, I'm gonna wrap up this first look. Let me know in the comment section whether or not that would be something that interests you to continue on this channel and I will think about it. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching guys, have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye bye.